Hello everybody, welcome to yet another edition of the In The Ring Show with your host, Devious Damien. Today, and ongoing in the future, if you want to try a new video series, something I haven't really seen much of in the YWC. So, I'm going to try to make this, I don't know if I am the originator, or I'm going to be one of the few that does it if I am not, in fact, the originator. So what this video series is going to be, is going to be a what if video series. So today I'm going to, I'm going to tackle the subject, what if the NWO never happened? Okay, well, if the NWO never happened, I don't think you would have seen the, um, you know, the heel faction have the prominence that it enjoys today. Now, granted, the NWO was not the first heel faction. It, you know, the Four Horsemen was the first real, you know, them and the Freebirds, like the two major heel factions going before the NWO happened. But, you know, you never really saw a heel uh, group truly dominate, um, you know, a territory or, you know, the promotion they were in, like the NWO did. And then, you know, then you had, like, then you had Degeneration X. Then you had, you know, you have the Shield, you know, today. You've got, you know, all these other groups that came in and were sort of like a dominant force in their promotion. Or at the very least, like, this cool Rebel Heel faction. And the NWO was, like, in my opinion, the, the start of that major Rebel faction. Um, and without the, the, the NWO, I truly believe that... Perhaps the Attitude Era in the uh, WWF, that, as it was known at the time, would not have happened. Now, I don't believe that the NWO was entirely responsible for the WWF shifting to the Attitude Era. ECW also played a part in that. But you've got to—I got to believe that, despite what Vince McMahon tries to, might try to say. You, got, you can't tell me he wasn't paying attention to what WCW was doing with the NWO, some of the things that they were doing at the time. And that's at least part of what made him shift to this new content that he dubbed, the new things that he was doing, and he called it the Attitude Era. Because, you know, before the NWO came along, before ECW came along, before anything like that came along, you know, he was running the same boring, cartoonish stuff, you know, outlandish, you know, he had the white bread, vanilla baby faces, you know, he had Shawn Michaels going out there, you know, doing all the stuff that, you know, the the white bread, white meat baby faces is supposed to do, blah, 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 blah. And what the, when the NWO came in, and it, it was like being bad was cool all of a sudden, that's when... That's when, you know, WCW started to take over in the ratings. That's when the WWF had to do something different. And I truly believe that if the NWO had, had you know, that the NWO never formed, had it never been created, the Attitude Era might not have ever happened. You know, so in a way, I'm actually kind of thankful for the NWO being formed. I'm thankful, not only did it, you know, was it a cool concept, in all of wrestling, but it actually helped the WWF, WWF excuse me, become better. Um, you know, so that's my take on what if the NWO had never happened. You you know, you wouldn't have seen, A, you wouldn't have seen the Attitude Era, and B, I don't think you would have seen groups like the Generation X. You wouldn't, we wouldn't see the Shield as they are today. You know, we wouldn't, probably wouldn't have ever seen the Shield at all. You'd have never seen, you know, other groups that, you know, came in. You know, Aces and Eights probably wouldn't exist either if not for the NWO starting back in 1996. So now, not only do I want to know your thoughts on this particular video, but, you know, I'll take a request. If you want to see me do a video about what if, you know, such and such never happened, like I'll just use this for an example. What if Shawn Michaels hadn't won at WrestleMania 12? I don't know if I'll actually do that video. I might, I might not. But, you know... Anything that you want to know, what do I think, what what wrestling would have been like had such and such never happened? Let me know what video you want to see me do as far as on the What If series. For this edition of the In The Ring Show, this is your host, Devious Damien, signing out.